Happy Friday, everybody. It is, uh, yeah, it's like Friday. And uh, I told you I'd be making a project video. So here I am. I have my favorite keep me in the warm mindset shirt on today uh, for this woodworking project. I hope you enjoy. And um, yeah, have a good day. I started by cutting the rails to the toast miter station. This was a pretty easy task using my crosscut miter sled. I wanted to take and make sure that I had two equally matched. Then I went on to sanding the project or sanding the rails down. Uh, this was just to kind of clean up all the mill marks and any tear out that I may have had in the process of using the uh, miter sled. And here you can see I wanted to take and uh, get a little close up on the hand sanding process. And not to mention I wanted to make sure that I was showing off my sexy warm thought process shirt. Uh, it, it is uh, something that definitely gets me through the hand sanding process. Here I wanted to cut some notches to kind of capture all the crumbs and uh, give a little bit more of a decorative edge and so forth of the base to this project. So uh, as you can see I'm cutting two going uh, perpendicular with the long edge of the uh, project and uh, I did go on to cut the ends, um, a decorative edge, edge in the ends as well. Uh, I also wanted to take and miter a little bit of a uh, bevel on the uh, rails that I had taken a hand sanded earlier. And here I'm just going through that process. Uh, I believe it was about a 10 degree um, cut. They don't put all the uses for Gorilla Glue on the side of the bottle. Watch this. This is what I like to do with my, my bread. Kind of like that. Yeah, make a nice glue sandwich. Mmm. After enjoying a Gorilla Glue sandwich, I went ahead and used this uh, new finish. It is food grade, food safe finish. Uh, this is the first time that I had used it. And I have to say, I really enjoyed the process of uh, finishing the toast miter station. And that wraps up this project. Uh, again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Uh, definitely, if you would, uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this project. It was pretty fun, pretty easy, pretty simple, and uh, is definitely uh, gonna be used in, in my kitchen. I have a 11 year old son, and uh, he just eats so much toast. And um, I know that uh, this is gonna definitely help him out in the process. So again, hope you have a great day and uh, thank you for your time. This video is part of the 2015 Kitchen Utensil Challenge. Uh, some of the woodworking YouTube creators have gotten together to create something that was for the kitchen and uh, that is centered around doing something in the kitchen, you know, like a utensil. Uh, and you're going to find a wide variety of different projects that uh, are, are very unique for the kitchen. Go into the description below this video and look at the long list of woodworking YouTube creators of uh, projects that are centered around this challenge. As always, thank you for watching.